Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna read together a book called *The Sea Monster and the Bossy Fish* by Kate Messner and illustrations by Andy Rash. It's a story about a bossy fish who is a recent transfer student into the sea monsters class at Lake Ernest Demke Elementary School. He was eventually turned into a friendly fish by the sea monsters' friends in his class. Let's discover together how it all played out. We're getting a new student in my class. I bet he'll be nervous like I was. Be a friend and show him around. I'm sure he'll feel comfortable in no time. The new fish didn't seem all that nervous. My old school had parties with rock music every Friday, and awesome at playing drums. We offered him a school tour anyway. We started in the music room. The years on the bus go swift, 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 swift. We sang way cooler songs at my old school. Haven't you guys heard of the talking fish heads? I showed him the cafeteria. We had an algae bar at my old school. And then my favorite place. The library. I read ten books in a day. For someone so small, this new fish sure talked big. In gym class, the new fish chose me for his team. Yes, I am the slam dunk champ. But I couldn't help noticing he was a little bossy. Your pirate should look meaner. Don't put the treasure chest over there. Put it here and make it bigger. Maybe I should draw the treasure chest myself. You didn't want to share the blocks. Sorry, I need these for my magic ocean castle. And he totally hogged the dress up clothes. Hey, everybody, look! I'm an Indian cowboy dinosaur wizard. When then at recess, the new fish gave everyone nicknames. Hey, Sunny Boy, Lurch the Perch, Smelly Mouth, how's it going? What's up, Big Mouth? And you will be Ernest Osaurus Rex from now on. He would do anything for a laugh. The new fish offered me a cupcake, but it was full of worms. Does he know carp is a vegetarian? The next day, everybody was gathered at the swing set. The new fish was starting his own club. The fresh fish club is for all of the cool fish. There's the perch, big mouth, smelly smout. You too, Ornithosaurus. I'm president. I had always wanted to be in a club. And I loved my new sunglasses, but I noticed not everybody was wearing them. How come you're not in the Fresh Fish Club? He says we're too old and too stuffy looking to join. Come on, let's play dress up before you know who comes back. Suddenly, my cool new shades felt heavy on my snout. All the way home, I thought of my old friends and new friends. What kind of group could include everybody? By the next morning, I had the perfect solution. I decided I'd rather be a friend fish than a fresh fish. We'll do friend fish good deeds, like help Rapaz rearrange his cave or leave Mayfly brownies in someone's cubby as a surprise. Mayfly brownies, count us in. Are crustaceans invited? Everybody's welcome. That sounds like fun. Just looking cool gets boring after a while. Plus, it's really dark down here with these glasses. Bonk. By lunch, the whole school had joined the Friend Fish Club. We made this just for you. I thought you might like to borrow this book. Hey, let me help you with that. Well, almost the whole school. Hey, Ernest Osaurus Rex, can I join your club? Of course, but call me Ernest, please. Great! 
I'll be president. I'm not sure we need a president, but we sure could use a drummer. Do you need a hand? Can I lend a fin? If you are a friend, just swim right in. We will be your pal. We will help you out. It's what friend fish are all about. Doesn't matter if you're red or white or yellow, bass or pike or a big green fellow. When everybody plays, it's way more fun. So the friend fish teams for everyone. A little higher, please.